After meeting Marty Jannetty for the first time, I knew it was clear that we would be working together for a long time, but I had no idea what to expect when going to his house for the first time. Our story started at 80s Con, and it continues on this journey through 10 billion trees and forests to get to the deep south and start the party with Marty. But first, let's go back a few hours, where my day really started, because boy, I had no idea what was coming my right, way. We're over here at LGA right now. We're getting ready to go see Marty Janetti live at his home to bring you the Party with Marty podcast. Frontier Airlines, I had a flight to get to Georgia, and you guys are the worst. I'm not going to sit there and take a chance of getting on a plane where the engine might fall out. Savage on his way to Atlanta, Georgia, so he could see Marty Jannetty. After another like 20 hours of driving, pit stops, and another billion trees, we finally make it to Marty's house, and the party's about to start. Marty, get these girls out of here. I'm sick of it. <laughs> Marty, we got to do the podcast. Stop it. How many do you have? Oh. Give it away, give it away, give it away. Give it away, give it, give it, give it. Do with Eric's on. I'm trying to get the computer back hey, over. Is your name Marty Janetti? MJ up in there. Were you part of the legendary tag team, Marty, the Rockers? Marty. We're shot. Hey, do you remember? Is your, is can we your, call Sean is right your now? Mother still single? My mother, you can have my mother if you call Sean right now. <laughs> what the fuck is your Marty? Hey, Marty. What am I doing? Marty, look at me. What the fuck's wrong with you? <laughs> I don't know. What? You're not going on the show like that. Yes, sir. You're not going on the show like yes, that. No, you're not. Yes, Stop it. <laughs> Stop. The, you Did you me. listen to the girl last night? What'd she tell you? She said you better be ready for today. She told me I was a hoe. Party with Marty's going to start eventually. Uh, I think it's going to start. Yeah, it's going to start right now. Savage here, live with Marty Janetti. Marty, what the hell's going on over there? What's wrong now? What are you doing? My, my dad plays with the New York Giants. New York Giants? Yes, he, uh, he got hurt, though. Oh, my God. What position did he play? I don't know. Quarterback. Quarterback? Whatever, no, and it was a lot of years ago. So but what, but the point? thing what? is, I'm always going to be a New York Giants fan because of that. Okay. I respect uh, that. I'm a Giants when, fan. When, I'm a Giants when, fan. When, yeah, and when, when, when I lived in New York, okay, I we only had... When I lived here growing up, we only had the Atlanta Falcons. When you went there, you had two football teams. Yeah, it was New York like, always has two teams. Yeah, I know. Yeah. And you, and but the thing is, is I didn't know you couldn't like them both. Yeah. New Yorkers would say, no, nah, fuck teams. no. Why didn't you like New York teams? No, I did. Like, uh, But only the Giants, though? Well, or every New York team? Because my dad. Because your dad, okay. The Jets, I mean, I ain't got nothing against them. The Jets are nothing. The Jets. <laughs> Actually, no. I, I'm. Um, I'm not a Jets fan. I'm a Jets hater. I'm sorry, everybody. I'll be honest. I don't know whatever. But this year, they do have a chance. They got Aaron Rodgers. Like, and this is some. I know. Yeah. That's no, crazy. Aaron Rodgers is yeah, a big yeah. pickup. They might be real and good. This, this could be a scary maybe, maybe. Uh, situation. Kind of like what keep, if you can keep out of call. You know, he's a friend, right? Oh, well, I you have a lot of friends, Marty. I mean, and I've seen the phone book. The phone line. Uh, <laughs> there's a lot of contacts in there. There's about probably 500 girlfriends from 500 countries and cities. And he's got girls in his phone named after blocks. He's got one girl named after a bodega. He's got another girl uh, named after like uh, some restaurant that he said he had. Which like, one, no, wait, 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 wait. Which one's bodega? Uh, one of your Queens girls. Because, you know, Queens is famous for the bodegas, right? Yeah, of course. You no, told me no. you went to Flatbush, Queens? Uh, Karen. 
<laughs> <laughs> anyway, enough about Flatbush Queens, which I don't think that exists, but it's okay. <laughs> no, you know, he's from Queens. Yes, where, from where's Queens. Where's Queens. And you're yeah. from right here, Georgia. Yeah, yeah. Not, not far from Alabama. Alabama. How does it feel? You so I why weren't you so you so you hate all of the year. I got the best doctors okay. you know, that part, yeah, you know, to fix my ankles. Yeah. We saw your doctors on Dark Side of the Ring. Yeah, yeah. Good guys. Yeah, yeah. And, oh, uh, they're great guys, great, great. great I'd like great, I'd like great. to meet them one day. Maybe we'll go out to dinner we'll because meet, I, they, they sound like they took good care of you. They're still taking good care of you. Yeah. Speaking and, of dark side, what did you think of the premiere on Tuesday? I think, what I think about what the premiere of your episode on Dark Side of the Ring. Just Karen, if you could have taken care of So just it. delete Karen and then that episode. Yeah, she had them black teeth. Out oh, teeth. my God. Speaking of Dark Side, I do have some clips right here from the show. This is Marty with the Rockers. Uh, prime time. I mean, huge, huge superstar here, Marty Janetti. I mean, this so barbershop, this so is iconic so right here. Face. We're going to have to do another episode just for the barbershop, I mean, to be honest. Yes, Marty. Sir. Do you have anything to say about that barbershop? Like the way dark said your balls are hanging out. That's okay. Don't why are you looking at my balls? Look at the well, camera. Because they're hanging out. I yeah. won't touch them. Well, oh, oh, no, you don't have to touch them. I'm okay. Well, you're not touching my balls. Shit. Shit. I mean, we're, we're in the same room. There's I'm balls back. hanging out. I'm back. I removed my audio. We have to keep my camera in here because my <laughs> camera's the main audio. This is the first time we're doing this show. So obviously we're gonna have technical issues, right? First of all, you are a technical issue. <laughs> Uh, the biggest technical difficulty I'm going to ever have to deal with, and this is like, I'm not even going to edit this show. I'm done editing. We're going live for the where's next. Where are my glasses? I have your phone. You need your glasses? Where's my phone? Where's Karen over here? I got to show her picture. No, don't you dare show Karen. I got, yeah. She's why not? not? She, because she's got black teeth. Weren't you talking to Brutus earlier today? Yes. Yeah, you, you were talking. You said to... hello. He was happy on the phone. He, they, they, you know, they told you uh, to start calling the ladies ladies to stop calling them hoes I do, i'm playing okay here's what here's what you're talking about i love to talk, call my girls and, and say stop being a hoe <laughs> yeah. but some of them get upset about that and i'm only fucking playing <laughs> marty's only playing so dark side of the ring was a big deal i thought it was their best show they ever your made balls, your balls are so don't worry about my boss so what happened you beat the shit out of Shawn michaels more than once so tell me about the first no, time. No, you... actually, you're on, that's not true. That was just once. Tell me about the first time you beat the shit out of Shawn Michaels. I, I, I didn't say I beat the shit out of him. No? Okay. I, I kind of you know what it is as a kid. I wish you did. And that's that, another thing. The barbershop <laughs> pissed me off like when he did that to you. I, I wish you would have beat them. Yeah. yeah. Fucking get him. Well, and ass. that actually did happen. But people, The fans were upset about that. The, the way Karen explained, that's why I wish she wouldn't even be. Karen was going off on that. Yeah, she was like. Oh, you push him through the fucking bedroom. Karen was going off like she was an expert on the situation. Yeah, yeah. And she and she wasn't even there. She wasn't even there. No, <laughs> she wasn't even there. So to be honest, no, her no doing this, I don't even understand why. So I mean they showed that a little bit. They showed you in your home. I mean when you get when you, when you drink and you can hear your teeth do this. But you know what you have? You have dark side of the wing telling everybody that this is the world according <laughs> to Marty Janetti. <laughs> There's Marty Janetti, professional wrestler here in the season finale of the Vice Special. <laughs> and I thought they did like a phenomenal job. Look at your leg right there. I actually, yeah, it's still like God that. damn, it doesn't look no, it doesn't look anything like that. Look though. at the different colors. Yes, absolutely. It's still swollen. I'm yeah, looking at it right now, folks. Swollen. And it's definitely swollen. And uh, you know, Marty's a it'll fighter. Be, it'll, be, it'll be all right. You know, like the doctor said in the show, uh, pain of 12. So that means no, you're not your average chin. And he said 12. One to 10, 12. Marty yes. Jeanette, do you think it's still like that or is it a little less? Are you less than 12 now? When I drink, I can, I can okay. knock it down. You knock it down a little bit. So when yeah. you wake up, it's it's still at that 12. Ah, you're a warrior, though, because he sees that. It's 12. I mean, I mean, shit, it's more than that, but well, that's what he said. You're working and hard to get yeah. in the world. They're, and they're working hard to get you back to a place yes. where you're not going to have that like level yes. of 12 and get you to a good yes. place. Uh, dark side of the ring, obviously. You know, went in on Marty Jannetty for the full hour, and there you see Al Snow, who had nothing but good things to say, and honest things to say I about love him. Man, that's my boy. That's man. your boy, absolutely good dude. I met him a few times. Always been nice to me. Uh, Al Snow praised Marty Jannetty uh, as far as talent goes. Uh, not a lot of people. Are you sure you're not gay? Oh, uh, here we go. <laughs> this is this is Marty Jannetty, and uh, you know, he's here live in his house in his studio. Which, by the way. We spent all night doing oh, this. Oh yes! Oh, what a fucking. No, nah, me and Marty Janetti were busting our ass in here. 
Me and Marty Janetti were in there. Help. I, no, no, no. I tried you, to help. Come on, I'm trying to put him over ankle. right now. He won't even my let me put him over. No way. He was in here. No, it was just ankle. Remember? Listen, this guy was yeah. in here climbing on walls to put things up high. Like it was crazy. And we got it done. I don't know. And you know, last night we were gonna we wanted to do an episode, but instead we said we'll just do it tomorrow. No, you, no, I did yeah. not. Me, you I said. Did. I called. Yeah, 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 I called. Yeah. I don't know, hundred percent. But I'll still have nothing but good things to say to you. He's going to be on you this can't, show. How can you say anything bad about that? We, we have him. Uh, he said he was going to be on this show. I mean, here it is right here. Let's let's watch it. Three. I'm former WWE superstar Al Snow and Marty Jannetty's former partner Leaf Cassidy and the New Rockers. And we're partying with Marty. Yeah, yeah. Three. I'm former Marty Jannetty has a problem. <laughs> 99 problems, but a bitch ain't one. Shoot. Is that is Let that your story? Jay Z, yeah, Jay Z, definitely Jay Z. Ninety nine problems, but a bitch ain't one. <laughs> Drink, <laughs> drinks are in a problem. Uh, you know, <laughs> I get a shelter. Call, you I have a shelter. Call, I gotta call Winnie. Let me get my. No, no, we're not calling anybody right now. No, you're not calling anybody. All right. We got things to talk about. Here. This is the dark side of the ring. Did this guy? You know, the calls he made from nine a.m. till now. I mean, we're not even gonna get into it. I, I don't, if you want, you can tell us, but. We can talk I, I, to Winnie later. I don't know what the question was. What? The question. The question is that you were part of the Rockers, man. You were part of the Rockers. And look at this. Columbus Ledger. All right. 1977 to 78. Player of the Year. Marty Janetti. Bro, I was an athlete. Were man. you whooping everybody back then? You pretty much. <laughs> that felt good, right? That's the, that's the only reason people liked me. Okay. Did you, were you the guy that used to beat up bullies? Kinda, no, I didn't beat up nobody. Um, unless they started shit. Okay. But the thing was, when I grew up, nobody liked me because my, my, my mom and dad fought so much. Okay. The police were there all the time. So it just caused they issues. Want, they didn't want they didn't want the kids there. That's so I, I like when you're a kid, you don't know. It's like what's wrong with you? When, Nothing was wrong with you. When, 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 when we would when, when we when I would go to school, and and we you know you pick teams like volleyball, just you know kickball. Whatever shit, I would always be the last, and I would always win everything, and I couldn't understand it. Like, why is everybody not like me? I, you know, I think you were thinking things that you shouldn't have been thinking, and if you had someone instead of them being busy fighting to tell you these things, it would have maybe helped a little. Well, it wouldn't would matter fighting. I, I, My I, parents fought I'll all the time you, too. I'll, 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 I'll tell you uh, something that sucks. Like, a lot of people don't know. Are we on camera? Mm-hmm. Well, I'm going to tell you something that... <laughs> You're going to tell everybody. One time, Dan Owens, I remember his name. You know, and Mike cried. I don't want to cry. Um, no, I don't cry, Mike. But it's okay. You, get, you can get it out. You know what? I cry one, sometimes. One, I cry one, when... One of my heroes in life is Gino, my brother. Okay. And we got a... We got a he, fought, he was in Vietnam. He fought in Vietnam. And we got a phone call that I was in second grade. I'm <clears throat> so sorry. It's okay. So, can I fucking rip this shit? Um, and when they got the phone call, they, shit, I'm crying anyway. Um, they came and told me, and they were so stupid, it was typical Columbus. They come and said your your brother's dead. Fuck. And, and Dan, I went, I, start, I started crying in class. Second, you know, second grade. So what are you? Six years old, seven years old, so yeah. by that eight maybe. And Vietnam, he died. That's what they said. No, that's what we got told. It was false information. But Dan Owens was fucking laughing about me starting crying. What a and I took it. You know, I took it. We were on the second floor. I took his ass through the. You know, you know how they talk about me through the window. Yeah. No, I threw that motherfucker through the window. Damn. Fucking with my. You know. Yeah, man. I can understand the uh, emotion uh, right there is like all time high. Gosh, damn! I ain't going through that no more. Holy shit! That's life. <sighs> we got. We got. You know. You have to deal with these people that are stupid and say nasty things. Look at. Look at. Look at some of these girls. Yeah, man. So what do you think of the room, Marty? It's fucking perfect. You're happy with it's, it? It's, oh, my God, of course. Are, are we going to do a show from here like every week, every other week, maybe? When you're here. Now, you're not going to come in here and start throwing darts at Sean, are you? <laughs> Tell me the truth. Be honest. Should I send you some darts? I'll I, buy you some. Honestly, on that, I mean, we all were 
I mean, what just me? Did you did, it, did you really throw darts at a picture of Sean though? Yes. Hell yeah! All day, we every all day. Do. We <laughs> all do. We all do. We all do. And not because I because I love him to death. You know, he's my boy, man. Right? Yeah. But we were throwing darts, and he was in my fucking door. We we're throwing darts in my fucking door. <laughs> so over here, you're looking at your room. You got some trophies. You a bowler, big time bowler. Your dad and you were bowlers. I was national champion. So let me ask you a question: Why didn't Dark Side of the Ring come in here and find that piece that I was able to find? Which is because they they got. I'm gonna go ahead and throw myself in this episode. The, the, uh, will you understand look at this? this. You understand this. The, look at that. Isn't, Isn't that a beautiful piece? I guess. You know, um, it's a beautiful piece. I mean, look at it all. I got a whole bunch of pieces. You got a lot of nice stuff, man. You know how I made this room? Uh, I, I was looking at it, and I saw yeah, it in the windows. Because I first remember, we were, we were thinking about doing this in the living room for a while. And we found some stuff I hadn't seen. Yeah, Marty's got a lot of stuff, guys. I don't know if you know this or not. We're going to change the camera, because why not? It's our show. We can do whatever we want, really, Marty. Right? So yeah, we, we don't need to listen no, to anybody. Hurry up. <laughs> we don't need to listen to anybody, Marty. This Alabama, Alabama, Georgia. Yeah, man, yeah, he's got fresh iced tea right there. That's some good iced tea, boy. I like it. Yeah. When have you ever seen yellow Get that iced, iced tea, tea from San Francisco. So we're looking around this room. <laughs> yeah, Marty over here. Marty's a trip, guys. Um, me and Marty, to be honest, we're going to be partying uh, all over the country, right? We're going to Chicago soon. Yeah. You excited about StarCast? The hardest thing is I uh, can't hook him up because he's happily. Yeah, no, no, I'm good. But again, stop. But it always got... goes back to sex with this guy. Every time, no matter what, you could be talking about music. You could be talking about groceries. You could be talking about, like, oh, uh, groceries. you know, maybe a car company. Oh, what's your favorite car? Ford. Uh, they had to talk about the time he had sex in a Ford or the time he had sex in the supermarket next to the broccoli or the time he had sex in the club while he's dancing. What's wrong it's with always What's back wrong to with the De sex. What's wrong with Destiny? I, I haven't seen Destiny. I haven't seen Swaggy. He's been telling me about Swaggy for yeah, almost swaggy, a year. Swaggy's not been no there. Swaggy in and sight. Destiny. No Swaggy in sight. Like and the timing, the timing. Destiny just got a boyfriend, I think. Because I've been seeing a red car over there in the driveway for like the last week and and it, it's not it's i don't care i mean she's not my girlfriend let's, she's my neighbor let's girlfriend. see if i can do the slides from over here on my leg yeah, you're making me nervous look at man. this oh why are you looking are you standing on my legs <laughs> you, you know you guys want to see this guy's mouse pad all the darts he throws at sean <laughs> But he's always touching Sean. Like almost I ain't never you know, every post he makes on Facebook, his ass touching, is touching me. He your ass is touching him though. Well, I was standing there first. Did, do you like touching his ass? So what we get drunk. So what we smoke weed. We just having fun. And we don't give a fuck who see. Look, we <laughs> Leland McCluskey. Yes. Uh, he's One like of the best in the world. In the world. Yes. Right here in Georgia. Yes. Wow. I know that's crazy, right? We study under. Uh, um, this is from high school, huh? This is from high school. Yeah, we played football together. There's that picture again. Yeah, why you keep showing it? Well, that's. I mean, the slide. Not, I mean, I don't that's mind. The slide right here. We gotta go over with dark side of the ring. Uh, this was you in the hospital after the first surgery or the second surgery? Which one was this? That part I don't know. It okay, been the second, third, 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 fourth. <laughs> My God! So this is you blowing up something in chemistry. Tell us about yeah. that story right there. Yeah, well, wait, but they, because the damn teacher said, "Don't mix the orange with the blue chemicals." Oh, uh, chemicals. Fuck. But he didn't say why. So I'm sit, I was sitting there thinking, well, "Okay, why not? Why not?" And they went ahead and did it. <laughs> the one poor girl, man, she had like that black smudge and stuff. All over her face, <laughs> in her clothes. There was over there were clothes. Were, mine were tattered too. This is an ugly shirt, by the way. Why is that an ugly shirt? It's a nice shirt. I like. You it. picked this. So have you, you blown picked, anything you, up? You, you picked this for me. Have you blown anything else up since uh, that lab, or was that the last time? Not that. Not that I know of. Not that you know of. Okay. Yeah. Uh, WWE said I blew up some shit with Vince. You, oh, oh yeah, maybe in India. <laughs> no, 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 that was a motorcycle. So this is Karen Walker, right? 
Oh my god. <laughs> She's here. She's back again. Yes, I don't know how she hacked into this shit. She must have did something. Here she is, Karen Walker. She's back. What do you want to say about Karen Walker again? Anything else? I feel bad for her. You feel bad for her. Okay. Yeah, because she don't mean to be she don't mean first to be. of all that ugly. <laughs> <laughs> secondly, yeah. secondly, she's delusional. delusional the shit okay. is, yeah, yeah. I mean she she talks like she was there. And definitely she not wasn't. Yet. Definitely not there. <laughs> So Dark Side had does. some good pictures of your, uh, this is you and your brother? That one's me and my nephew. You and your nephew, okay. Yeah. Which one are you? You're the one on the right. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. That's you and your dad? Yes. Okay. Awesome. You got some nice stuff in here from your dad, too. Yes, my dad. Is this a good friend of yours? Dad, my, yes, my, yes. Didn't we talk to him yesterday? I think we did. Yeah, I think you, you, well, you called a lot of people yesterday. <laughs> Marty, how many uh, phone calls do you make a day on average? <laughs> yeah, a hundred. <laughs> but here's, here's he's busy because he checks in on all his girlfriends. Uh, so Marty's loyal. That's true. That's Thank true. you for that. Yeah, man. You That's check true. in on all your girls. Clam me as yeah, clam me as he on the live stream. Damn. Hell yeah, let's do it. It's hot here in Georgia. I'm not used to it. We're not. We're not in. We're in the room. It's hot out here. The heat comes from inside. Outside, it's like magnifies the walls or something. Cheers. Yeah, yeah. We got that pillow. Yeah, right. Me, yeah. me and Mike were ran over there. Uh, good dude. Yeah, he did it. a good job on the show. Yes. Good job on the yes. episode. I thought he was great on the Are show. Are you sure you're not gay? Definitely not. Why? Do you want me to be? Well, you better is not. Your balls this, are hanging out. My balls are cool. Don't worry about my balls. I got way bigger balls well, than the Miz. I'm I'll tell you that. Right here right I got here. way bigger balls <laughs> than the Miz. I'll tell you that. They're much bigger than the Miz. And Miz, I'm telling you right now, live here on the party with Mark. Stop. It's touching me. No. no. They're huge, right? You can't even get away from them. They're all over the place. So, Dark Side did a good episode. I thought so. Yeah, they did a great episode. But I think this could have been a three part series. I mean, your life is almost that's like a movie. <laughs> that's what they're trying to do. So, what are we doing? We're we going to get you on Showtime, HBO. Yes. Where are we going? We got to get you a series. They're, they're supposed to come today. What time is it? Uh, it's time for you to be on, uh, you know, Hollywood right now. Like, <laughs> there should be like the most okay, amazing like HBO show about your life because your life. Now they want to do a mini series. More than a mini, it should be like a permanent series. You probably have eight hundred episodes. Well, what time? More. What time is it? I don't know. It's why, like, and why you hold my mouse pad? So I can control the show. That's the way it works. Well, I'm the, I know. I know. But the way you're holding it, you don't like it. Is no, it turning no. you on? No, 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 no. It's actually the opposite. Who is this in this picture? Is this you and who else? I don't know. Oh, okay. Well, you're, there you are. That's, 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 that's you me. when you're young. That's definitely me. How yeah. old are you there? 22? 23? Three or so, yeah. Maybe. But look at your huge, big boy, man. Huge, Who big is, arms. How much that, could you bench? I wonder if that, that uh, the most I ever did was 450. 450? Marty Gennetti? Wow. That's crazy. No, it ain't. Why is that crazy? It's that's still, a, it's strong as, that, more. That's so strong. That's, that's really strong. I know I don't look like it now. But, yeah. No, you had. I saw the pictures, man. They're all over the place. The abs. You had the six pack. You had it. You had the pecs. The this. The that. The energy. The passion. The charisma. You know, and and the coolest uh, hair. Honestly, in the business. Probably. I mean, if you want to have a whole weird, different experience in life, besides a nine to five job, party with Marty. <laughs> I'm already struggling out here, man. I'm not from down here. Yeah. Do you guys know that I drove like 30 hours to come see Oh, my movie? God. He ain't drive like forever. Forever. And now he's complaining <laughs> about my got, balls, man. He got here and he said, man, there was nothing but forest. He's complaining about my balls here alive on the party. Because they're, they're almost touching me. Well, then back up a little bit, man. Why, why you, why you he's been that? trying to touch my legs for like three why, days. It's why, fucking yeah, weird. But why you got that? I don't know what that is. Here's you jumping off the top rope, man. What was all the moves you've given off the top rope? Uh, uh, drop kick, elbow drop. Can you name them for me? All the moves you've done in your life off the top rope? <laughs> no. Why not? You don't remember? Move? Did you ever do a weird song? No, you just do what you do. You just do whatever you did. I am about to do a backflip. So <laughs> when you were doing this, at that point, it was like, I'm getting in the ring, and then I'm, I'm leaving, and I'm you going. You do what you do. You were just trying to get to the park. Mm -hmm. I wasn't trying to get nowhere. You're trying to. <laughs> 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 you're, just, you're just doing what you do. You were really good at it, man. I mean, I've been watching the last few years. I've watched way more you, matches. And, and you know what? Great worker you were. A lot of thank you. A lot of my girls told me I was pretty good too. Time. No, you were really good. Like the last. No, I no, mean, not I, <laughs> when when I was a child and I was I've, watching. You know, I've only thought. Oh, shit, are we are we on TV? Yeah. 
Yeah, well, you I've, can only had, I've, I've only my whole career, and it was a long one. I've only had sex with one girl in the ring. In the ring, the actual physical ring. Yes, that's awesome. Where was this? What ring? I'm not kidding. If I tell you, <laughs> <laughs> so it was I just tell, forget it. Yeah, really? if I tell you, All I'm right. lying because yeah. I don't remember where. Okay, okay. So you don't remember and where it wasn't Sasha. It Banks. wasn't a big time though. Right? Actually, oh my god. There yeah, we're we're All right, right. now we're we're getting into uh, where are we going? Rhode Island you over here. You don't like? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. He likes Rhode Island, ladies. <laughs> you don't like Sasha Banks. Sasha Banks is a phenomenal worker, but are you saying is she hot or something like that? Well, to me, she is. Okay, to you, she's hot. Everybody has a different cup of tea. Me, right now in the business, I'll take me some uh, Mandy Sachs, uh, Tiffany Stratton. Yeah. Tiffany Stratton. I know who that is. On, yeah. Why are you so AEW? She's from the WWE. I, okay, okay. Here we go. The party with Marty. He doesn't even watch us <laughs> anymore. My God. What would Tony, what, you know, you're going to meet Tony Khan on. Uh, no, that's, that's the owner. That's the owner of AEW. Yes. Do you have interest in even like, like saying hello or? I'm scoring. I'm scoring. How's that first meeting going to go, Marty? Are we going to like get along with Tony Khan? Because I'm thinking I like to see. He down. seems like a cool guy. I want to go to dinner him. with him. I want to go to dinner with him. I never met him, and I'm pretty sure he's going to like me. I mean, I don't mean like that. I <laughs> think we should go off to him and offer to take him to dinner. I said what? what? Take him to dinner. Take him no. out to eat. Well, fuck no, we're gonna make sure he pays. Oh yeah, probably by the end of the conversation. Yeah, yeah, we know we have to sit down with him. Why, Why? not? Why? Because Tony Khan, you is, are trying is, so hard. Oh, you're I so. Love it. I, you know what? You, I'm addicted to MJF. You're, right, so, you're obsessed you're, with beer, and I'm obsessed with MJF. I need you're, to you're, beat him. You can't so, be the champion anymore. Why are you so thirsty? Because I'm the best manager in the world, Martin. I'm I'm sorry. You don't know that. No, I do know that. Martin. You're so thirsty. I want to be. I want to be out there. I want to be in the ring. I want to do my thing. I want to have my moment. I want to contribute. I want to help wrestlers. I can help you with that. That's my passion. I want to get the most. I out know of that. Guys. That's mine too. I can help you with that. But you can stop being so thirsty. Well, how else do I get there then, Marty? I mean, not be thirsty. I got that. I got that. A good advice though by Marty. But you know, just being in the same room. Say it like that. The, the, <laughs> no, but the life you've lived and like the fact that these clothes went to WrestleMania. You don't know what that means to me. Just sitting in this room. Give me a look. Because you know how, as a performer, what this did to the fans. Like, oh, oh, play me oh, that's you. Who told yeah. you to grab my hand? I, I, yeah. Who I didn't tell him I nothing. Forgot, I forgot. I didn't tell him nothing. I forgot. <laughs> and he's over here talking shit about the Yankees, too. And no, he, no, I was not. No, that's about the other team. He said the Yankees haven't won lately. Are you wearing that stupid hat? Yeah, they are. <laughs> and then I told him, I'm like, the Yankees have won more championships than any other team. In, in history. But right now, the Atlanta Braves are beating up everybody. That's true. And uh, and I'll, I'll give you that. and and I hope I got one beautiful girlfriend. I haven't seen. Or she, I think she got married. You know how to do that. Pat Tanaka, great job on the show too. He killed it. For yeah, he's uh, that's my brother. That's a gem. That's Where does he my, live again? Uh, North Dakota. North Dakota. I mean, they showed a lot of shots. There is Missy well, he, Beefcake. He, he, Missy Beefcake wanted to flash you, but she had the mic on, right? <laughs> So I'm, I'm guessing, do you have some stories with Missy Beefcake? Because it seems like there's some history there. Anything we can get into on the show, or are we just going to uh, say next on that one? Man, let me drink. <laughs> <laughs> All right, here's Marty Janetti on Missy Beefcake. Which, by the way, Beefcake said, stay away from my wife. Missy yeah, I heard that. <laughs> Which yeah, I might tell you, you know how you met her? Uh, how? For you? Okay. Okay, so he owes you for that. Copy that. That's the hookup, Marty, over here. All right, they did a good job too. They they were great too. All right, and I I love that the uh, end, yeah I thought so. I loved at the end how they said you know that, and you know what I, they came across like they loved. You. Are we on TV all the time? We're on TV twenty four seven, Marty. That's what you need a twenty four hour the reality ass, show. Hey yo, look at these big ass cry. I, I got big ass feet. There's you. Look at those shades. I'm and you do that. You were rocking those shades hard. Be way before everybody else. Was. I would love to wear. I love all the eighties. I need days. some mail. I'm a big fan of the eighties. You are to me are like one of those symbols of the eighties. You're not just like a symbol of wrestling. You're a symbol of the eighties. You, you, do you know you got breath? Oh, here we go. So do you? Do you know that? No, don't blow. Yo, this guy is out of the, out of control. We should have had that on footage. I mean, that wasn't that bad. I mean, your, yours is just like is is it, young man, I long I hair. I mean, I love you know. There she is again. She is, love uh, in your life. But, she, but look, she she's looks good. good. It's so good. She, you know, what she did. What she do? I don't know. Oh, okay. That works. I'm okay with that. But uh, no, for real, 
First time I ever had sex with her, I th she told me she was 18. Okay. Because she looked so good, man. She had like a She had it all together at that point. Yeah, she time. had it. We and this was in 1930 cut, or what? When was this? You guys are fucking vampires. I love and, it. But thing is, she liked me. She, she, <laughs> she liked you. Damn, man. Get away from me, man. <laughs> it's all your fault. No, it's, um, you know, she liked to me. Musky, I love that. She, she, you know, the one time she goes, well, I wasn't 18, oh, I was okay. 17. I'm like, God damn. That's, that's legal. Hey, that 17 yeah, and a half is yeah. legal almost. It's well, fine. well, back then, I don't know. Don't, don't get yourself incriminated on television or Facebook yet again. You know what's a great job, guys? This is Marty Gennetti, and he hasn't been on Facebook in at least over 46 minutes. I'm, you so, hear damn I'm so proud of him. I had to, though. There was no other way this was getting done like this. How else are we getting? We're getting great content right now. This is a great episode. And we're going to do episode two soon. You need to shave a little bit. All right, I got you. I'll trim and I'll shave for you. No, the hair. The, the hair side? Coming, no, it's coming out of your ear. Uh, out of my ear? Oh, yes. that's not good. Yeah, right. You want me Who's this guy? You want to talk about him for a little bit? <laughs> How many times did you take a shower with him? You love I mean, Sean? I mean, shower. I, I love him. Here's definitely. the must. Yeah. Look, he's touching Sean every time he's on Facebook. Just remember. That's butt bumping. That's butt bumping. And Sean did it. <laughs> he likes it. Sean How many cameras do we got? Uh, we got the one right there. Is this working? This is Mike. Yeah, that's the mic, Marty. <laughs> Say hello. Uh, one, two, three. Mic check. Mic check. One, two, three. Yeah, that's working, Marty. There's Sean <laughs> Michaels right there. Uh, they, he did a good job too with the little clips. I wish they would have had like uh, footage from him he, now. He wasn't in the clips. I well, he was, but uh, f old footage. Nothing I missed new. It. Yeah, this is him right here. What do you mean? He was on the show. Okay. You didn't. You didn't watch your own episode. It's 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 a reenactment. Uh, okay. You ain't gonna see him on there. <laughs> no, 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 no. We're gonna keep going though. But Dark Side, I love the way they make their vignettes. They made it look very cool. Let me get so, you here. Credit to them. Uh, you love the Atlanta. You're preaching over here. You want to talk a little bit about Gat? <laughs> Which, by the way, I gotta show this, guys. Uh, I'm gonna show this to you right now. Why don't you, Marty, tell them about Gat? Like, in case new people in here don't know about Gat. Where are you going? Uh, you're gonna tell me how drunk oh, you were. <laughs> tell me how drunk you were when you wrote Gat on the back of this little toy. As you can see right there. See clearly, it says Gat. This is Marty Gennetti. <laughs> and well, here's the thing. I ain't tell me enough. about Gat. I'm never worried about dying. Okay, me too. I don't. Yeah, I'm not afraid you know, of nothing. I mean, think about it this way. Amen. No more like this. God, pound, God is never going to throw his favorite toy away. Oh, uh, yeah, no. We just expire. I don't think we get thrown away. We just eventually expire, who, right? Who's going to take my place? <laughs> Somebody. <laughs> Unfortunately, <laughs> <I> ain't. <laughs> there, huh? I can't go pee pee. No, no. Wait, no pee pee. You can't go pee pee. Can I go pee pee? All right. We'll be back. your damn body. <laughs> Dean Malenko, they showed him a little bit on the show. You any thoughts on Dean Maybe Malenko? That's not from the show. Yeah, 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 that's from the show. Yeah, it's from Vice. Uh, any thoughts on Dean Malenko? Say again. Any thoughts on Dean Malenko? Say again. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I guess we got no thoughts on Dean Malenko. What did you think about all the vignettes? No, thing? I like Dean. I like, you like Dean? Dean. Okay, Dean's yeah. a good guy, good worker. Yes. Uh, what did you think about the way Vice did all the little videos? This is the, this is in the jury room, right? In the courtroom that they decided in 10 minutes that you were guilty? You're, you're almost less. Almost less than 10 minutes. I mean, that's kind of, how does the jury 12, and 12 people. 12 people all thought you were guilty. People. And they found you liable for 5%. It wasn't guilty. It wasn't guilty. It was, what was it? How much uh, um, negligence? Negligence. And they said 5%, right? And then WWE 95. Yeah. And then, of course, No, Sean, they were 90. 90. Yeah. And you got 5 or 10? And I got 5 and Chuck got 5. And Chuck got 5. I ain't do shit. You wrong. didn't even do anything wrong. You're in the ring. Uh, uh, I've been doing it for a hundred years. Yeah. And, and this guy could sit there like a little. But that's ass. tough though, because you were on the road with Sean for how many more years after that? A while, right? Mm -mm. No. How much? No. Okay. But Sean, but you guys were both working, and and you were, they were taking money out of your check every week. Get for that, yes. <sighs> that's crazy. Yeah. WWE should have been hundred percent liable for that, in my opinion. It's their brain. It's their property. No, you know who should be 100% liable? Who? Him. Okay. I, I, I'm not going to argue with that on that. Marty Gennetti uh, went through a lot. He's had a rough life. Has had an awesome good life. Been that bad, it's, been, it's been everything for you. I feel like you're one person you know that has that reason. You know how many? You've been here for a day. Yeah, yes, sir. You know how many girls I got? Remember, like I said, you have a girl in every country, in every state, in every city. <laughs> Marty's good on girls. But I feel like you're one of the one humans on earth that has 
been through almost every kind of emotion. Mr. Mr. You, you have a lot of experience, life you're experience. Saying, you're saying misunderstood. And you're right. No, 100% misunderstood because not everybody lives the kind of life you live. It's, it's, and, it's, and then that's why. It's one in a million, right? Or maybe one in 10 million even. I, I, uh, I'm not saying nobody else lives. How many people would you say have had a life compared to you? I mean, maybe, no. maybe a couple hundred, Zero. maybe tops no, all time? No. no. So you're one of a guy? None. 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 And there's a lot of people on that list. You know, you even, the, level. even the nights that I don't have a girl. Yeah. Or don't do cocaine, or don't do you know party. But why do you got to do the wish, cocaine? Does the wish, cocaine just send you to a better place? Yes. Okay, I understand that. But you know what? You don't always need the cocaine. I think what you need to do. No, is I, right. no, 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 no. We no. need to get you a, a show with uh, like fifty of your favorite girls that you love. I already want to do and, that. And 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 you know, and they have to compete for your love. And then when it's over, you have to marry them. And you have to stay no, with them forever. That's not going to happen. <laughs> Come on. You have to make that promise. Whoever wins the no, competition. I'm not going to marry you. Why? Will I fuck him in public? Yes. In public? Marty, come on now. <laughs> We're not talking like that. Stop being a hoe. You just asked. I know. I'm sorry. I guess it's my fault, too. Here with Marty Gennetti. Uh, oh, God, Karen. She just can't get off this episode. Oh, my she, God. Look at her. She looks again like, and again she looks and again, like, and again. She looks like I see a husband. And again and again and again. And again. <laughs> my god she said she found you like fucking dead though with the pills all over the floor that wasn't true that wasn't true that wasn't true so this was fabrication well yeah, that was <laughs> okay now, have you ever passed out at all not that no <laughs> <laughs> yeah. i mean how you know that right? now actually when you came over and i was in the chair yeah. actually when you came and pissed you know, was in yeah, the, yeah, that's how, yeah, that's how you woke up. You were sleeping. And yeah, I heard, I heard somebody pissing. And, like, and that was me. I was here <laughs> after like a 30-hour drive, which was... Uh, it, went, it went 30 hours. Well, 30. with the combination of pulling over and going to restaurants and sleeping oh, yeah, yeah, and this yeah, yeah, and that, yeah. yeah. It was a lot. And waiting at the airport four hours for a flight that never took off. It was a lot. Yeah, because when the, when the engine blew up, you know. Well, I didn't want to be on the plane. <laughs> well, think about it. You should be thanking me for not getting on that flight, because if I did, maybe I wouldn't have made it here. Thank you. Room wouldn't look like this. Thank you. Oh, you're welcome. Did Vince McMahon. Would you kiss me? No, never. Not on the lips. On the cheek, maybe. No, my hands are clammy, remember? I know. Dude. Vince McMahon over here. Let me see. He made Let me it. See. No, he, no, no. Hand. He made it on Dark Side Damn, of the Ring. Clammy, and, uh. Vince McMahon's made it everywhere in life. Just give me real quick your favorite Vince McMahon story. Well, when I first went to WWE, Coca, um, um, Coco Beware. <laughs> I was going to say cocaine. <laughs> I know, I did. It's either cocaine. That's where it's going, though. Um, <laughs> Coco, Coco Beware came and told me, he said, come on, go with me to a trailer. You know, they got their little trailers. Yeah. Um, and, and he says, this is going to be the best cocaine you ever did. And he was right. <laughs> Absolutely. Vince crazy. used to have the best cocaine. Vince, uh, a lot of cocaine with Vince McMahon, a lot of cocaine with Marty Gennetti. Never a good thing. We're going to see if we can get uh, Marty Gennetti on less cocaine. Uh, <laughs> dark Side of the Ring, actually, like I said, this should have been a, a three-part no, series. No, Bright Side, like you said. Oh, Bright, bright side. side. Well, here's Marty right here. Yeah, it's not even too dark. Marty's actually got a pretty good life, man. He comes out here, he's chilling. I, I, I can't. He's I can't, chilling like a villain, man. I can't. I mean, if you saw the way I got raised, you wouldn't complain about the way no, I, no, I lived no. after that. So Darkseid really went in on everything uh, about the, the barbershop. I mean, I thought that was one of their main vocal points. Uh, no, that was your idea, right? Barbershop was all you? No. Uh, who, who was you and who else? I don't know. Huh. Um, <laughs> well, Whose well, idea was it to bleed? Uh, the window. <laughs> god damn no wonder that shit looks so good uh legit we're gonna have a whole episode about the barbershop I, I don't know how we're gonna do it but we're gonna do it because look at this thing no, you don't know sure. what we're doing i don't know where we're going yeah you're probably right actually he's right i don't know what i'm doing i'm just trying to get through this episode and make it to episode y'all gotta see look y'all gotta see this y'all should have seen the room before yeah it was a shit show it was not a shit show was it bad no it was great <laughs> okay, now you've been on there or what do you call it? Um, <laughs> sarcastic. Be, be, be sarcastic. Yeah. Let me get you back. See, again, on camera right now, he's trying to touch me. No, Sean, I'm trying to pull his hair. Well, maybe I know what Sean had to deal with. I'm Is this what Sean had to deal with? Did you do this to Sean? Damn, you got the big ass can. Yeah, I do. I could choke somebody out with this. I, I trained in UFC, it MMA. Won't, it, it won't be me. Aikido. Yeah, because you're <laughs> smart <laughs> enough. You know already. I got that Greek strength. Sean, no. <laughs> I want to know the truth. How many times did you and Sean have sex? Together. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. 
Yeah, I saw me five, six, seven. No, you, I thought you meant old girl. Listen, Sean, I love you. I met you once in. Uh, nah, I love in you. He's my boy. Bro. Sean's a beast, man. He's a beast. Yeah, whatever, man. He did what he had to do to you know do what he wanted. He, every, we all yeah. we're, we're all individuals, Al, right? Al Snow, Al Snow said it best. Please tell me what did he say again? The, the best politician backstage. Oh, 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 yeah, without a doubt, without <laughs> a doubt, the best politician backstage. That's what this business is all about. It's about politics. Now, I'll now be honest sometimes you, you got to be good. <laughs> And I think I was pretty good. I might not have. No, been. you were more than pretty good. I told you you were. You were, fucking, you were fucking great. Give me, give me the clammy hands. I got hands. some clammy hands. Yeah. When I'm at my house and we're doing this show, it's going to be much easier for me to produce. I've never yeah, because really, you already got. The same usually, house. shows like this have like a couple of people. Right now, it's just me and Marty. That means we're down. In that's what. That's what. Because <laughs> we got thirteen girls. We, need. we yeah, they can help. Somebody can help for sure. So Sean over here, uh, he's in uh, NXT Center. Have you ever been to the performance center no. like in the last couple of years? No. We should do a trip. I ain't been it, it all, we should go crash the performance center. I got to pee. No, you don't. Stop it. He does not have to pee. Don't listen to him. <laughs> what what happened just, in India? I just, I just lied. What happened in India? It was just like, do you really? <laughs> no. That's you more can, You cannot blame me. Did you see the guy open the door? Can for I me? play one more time for them? Yes. It was just like, do you really? Now you're back. Yeah. Can I play it again? Look at that. Yeah, yeah, show you show where the guy. Show where the guy opened the door. For I have me. to get another clip for that. That's the only clip I have for right now. Uh, yeah, but the guy, the hotel oh, guy. You made it. You made it look like it was my fault. What? That was your fault. You were driving up the stairs. Who cares if you opened the door for you? He did you a favor. That's what you wanted. You wanted him to open the door. He opened the door. So why are you sitting out trying to defend this guy or defend yourself for driving into a hotel lobby? Who and would, then who, a human who being would open the door a for a guy getting over coming in? A, what, up, what, I was having, I was struggling. It was like, mm, mm, up each step. I'm like, Marty, oh, I don't even know why you were trying to get up the stairs. <laughs> I was working in a hotel once and I saw a human try to bring a car. A human, yeah, yeah, a human. A human being, a real human, trying to bring that car up the stairs and he's struggling. A little Subaru trying to bring it up concrete stairs. How, how do you know it was Subaru? Because I remember vividly. <laughs> I have a good memory. I remember. Okay. <laughs> But anyway, uh, this is Marty. Those are the girls. He says he'd been oh. with one of them. Which of those girls did you hook up with? The one on the right. Are you sure about yeah. that? Uh, no. Do you remember her name? <laughs> no. I mean, Not at all? It was 1990. Did she smell good? Was it good? You liked it? You had a good time? I mean, I it, I like both of them oh, right now. Okay. You should go. Do you think she's still working there? Do you remember the name <laughs> of this hotel? Should we go find her? Stop. You're making me horny. Wow. Right. Uh, we gotta show that one more time because it, it's a good it's a good clip. Uh there he is. There's the guy opening the door for yes. you. Look, I have it there. You yes. have I have it. Yeah, and look how hard I'm trying to get up the stairs. You're, you love it. Look at you, you maniac. <laughs> look at you. Chaos. And they didn't even you got away with it. Like nobody cared. Then it was, it was getting away with what? <laughs> <laughs> but you're right though, yeah, they didn't care. They were they were more worried about like don't don't you tell nobody. So even after this happens, right? Crazy yeah. accident, and uh, it could have been much worse. Though, thank God you didn't kill anybody. <laughs> yeah, hypothetically, again, uh, <laughs> you know. But you know, life goes on, and there's Marty back in the ring, and there's a young Al Snow. You are the new rockers, but as you know, Al Snow that was said, actually. But that shot, because when, yeah. when me and Al um, were together, not like that. When we were together, um, that accident, the, the motorcycle, yeah, ride, yeah. I think it was it was it was right after that. Okay. And it was right after the new rock. But that shows life goes on. You know, you you, you hit a guy in a pool in an India hotel, and then the next day you're in the ring with all snow, and you're doing big things. It's your Marty Janetti, baby, and it's the party with Marty <laughs> here in Georgia. Uh, Nitro. Yeah, don't, tell, don't tell nobody that. Nitro. No. Hey, no, no, I know the Georgia. <laughs> Why well, everybody knows you live in Georgia? They, they, Dark Side of the Ring showed that you live in Georgia. The episode <laughs> talked about it. They showed the, the bowling. They know where you are, Marty. They're gonna to come be. find you. We're almost done. Nitro, real quick. You made it to Nitro. Yes. Uh, any fond memories from Nitro? Yeah. Uh, yes. What did they want to do for you in Nitro? What was the original plan for you? Did they want to make you a champ right away and push you? The one time, um, Scott Steiner, who's okay. a great for, oh, we great for him. I'm sorry about the hill coming. No, you're good. Um. They had him, you know, that's when he was doing, you know, tearing it up. Okay. You know, he's doing so good. And he came to me, he goes, Marty, I don't want to do what they want me to do. 
I said, what do you want you to do? <laughs> and he said, pretty much eat you up in the ring. Oh, beat shit. You up. Yeah. Okay. That's yeah. not good. Yeah. Speaking sure. of WCW, we have a big former WCW star that we saw recently at uh, Connecticut, I believe. And he said he's coming on the show. Let's we'll show everybody. Yo, monkeys, it's me, DDP. <laughs> and be watching on Marty's podcast because DDP's going to be having a party with Marty. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> So that was Diamond Dallas Page, and that was him telling us that he's going to be on the party with Marty. Yeah. Marty's got a ton of friends. And Marty, one thing I'll tell you about him from my experience with him is the people that know him in this balls, business, yeah. they love him. The people respect Marty. They love Marty. Marty doesn't have to go up to anybody. They come up to Marty because he's a legend in this business, and uh, you're going to see a lot of legends on the show. That's not the only reason, though. Well, they love you, though. That's the reason. Because treat, they love you. I treat him like... They should get treated because they love you. You're a good person. And they I have good times them. with you. And they I have love, good memories with you. Yes, and you know, I love, and I love them. And that's what life's about, I brotherhood. Love all my people. It's a big brotherhood, sisterhood. The wrestling community is a, a different community. And a whole hood. Oh, okay. You got the whole hood. I like that. That might be a new phrase. That might be a new shirt. There's gonna be a lot of shirts coming on the party with Marty. I have big plans for Marty Janetti. Uh, he likes working with Savage, and Savage likes working with him. He doesn't like calling me Savage. It's Miss Savage, Greek Savage, this <laughs> Savage, that Savage. It don't even matter, but I'll tell you what. I'm not Macho Man Randy Savage. I could never be Macho Man Randy Savage. I love Macho Man Randy Savage, but my mother used to How did me. you come up with all this stuff? My, my mother well, came I up with Ron. Whole hood, and you came up with all Yeah, because I've been going off the rails. Marty Gennetti, though, because uh, we want to end the show, because you have oh. to go to the bathroom. And, yes, uh, I got to pee. No, don't pee yet, though, because we still have a couple more shots. Nothing if crazy. You're, if you're a pee accidentally, you're like, Shawn you. Michaels, the darts. Why would you throw darts at Shawn? Like, come on. I was, it was for a joke. The, uh, you had good aim, though, because I've seen you throw the knife, and I'm pretty sure you could hit Shawn in the head with a couple of them. But, yeah, don't you do that. You didn't me, though, man. You're talking about the pizza box? Yes. Who's this? This is you and uh, my mom. Your That's mom. Yeah. Right here. Beautiful picture, by the way. Kind of. Yes. All right. I like you with a beard. I didn't even like her, though. It's all right. We're not, let's not get into your mom right now, because that's a whole other episode. I think we could do a few episodes on your mom. We'll make a mini series out of your mom. Uh, <laughs> but I like you with a goatee. Did you ever think about bringing back the goatee? I did, and everybody told me. Get rid of it? Okay, so get rid of the yeah, goatee. They said shave I don't blame you. I don't. I do not blame Plus, you. Plus, if it's got a little white and gray yeah. in it. There you go. You're going crazy again. Stop being a You're going crazy again. Is you and Sean, this is after the baptism? Yeah. How did it feel going under again, baptized by Sean? Did he try to drown you, or was he really trying to bring you closer to Christ? <laughs> <laughs> Which one was it? Was he trying to kill you for now, good? Now, now that you mentioned it. Uh, he might have been trying to drown you, Marty. He said, yeah, come yeah. on over for a baptism, yeah, Marty. Okay, you held me under a lot. <laughs> God damn. God damn, Sean. Maybe he needs to baptize you one more time, but maybe this time you should baptize him. No. Can I, I baptize you? Greek, uh, let's make you Greek Orthodox. Oh, yeah. No, I, mean, uh, I wouldn't mind just, that. But yeah. I wouldn't mind. Don't get mad at me. Oh, here it comes. <laughs> Here it comes. Wait, is it about to be one of these? It was just like, did he really? Oh, if, oh, if he asked me, if okay. he asked me, if he asked you, I'd pee on him. <laughs> well, here you heard it live on Marty with Party, whatever the hell. It's all backwards. This is upside down. This is like the Twilight Zone. This this show is going to be very wild. Uh, you exactly. never know what you're going to hear or see. Uh, a lot of things going on. You had your comeback with him on Raw, and then you got a contract offer, and then a week later you got arrested. No, no, it wasn't two weeks. It was <laughs> next week. It was one week. <laughs> one week later, and he, he fucked up his million-dollar contract. I did not fuck it up. That girl, God damn it, but who cares? Man. It doesn't matter. Because Marty already has money. Marty already has girls. Marty, Marty has no problems. I said he's got actually. What up? Do you have 99 problems? We you pull your balls back in All the right, dance? I'll try. I'm sorry. There's you and Sean. That's a cute picture. You should have you should have thrown him through off the stage. Oh, there's Vince again. You love Vince. Are we gonna call Vince later oh, today? Let me tell you. Let Can me we tell call you. him today? Oh, we on TV. Yes, we're always on TV. Find the phone. Yeah, we're, yeah, I got your phone. There's Missy Beefcake again. No, where's my, where's she my, wanted to flash you, and uh, I think who did? Be, uh, Missy Beefcake, but uh, Brutus didn't stop her. So what do we get? Let's real quick. Let's talk about Facebook. Okay. Why? Why? Why, Marty? Why? No, why why does that? Why does the whole world need to see? All this craziness on Facebook because this is what started the dark side. If it wasn't for you posting that comment on Facebook, which one was it? Uh, the okay. body one. <laughs> let, me, well, let me let me ask you a question. Why, that was crazy. why am I supposed to not be honest with my people? No, I you know what I respect that though, and I think that's a quality that people lack nowadays. And you obviously don't. And here you are being <laughs> yourself. No, it's obvious you don't care. You be your, you're yourself. There's probably nobody and more than self. And this is my people. Yeah, I'll give you that. And I. I you're hearing it here from first from me. 
Marty is Marty. He is he doesn't hold back, no filter. He says what's <laughs> on his mind, when it's on his mind, and, and that's the case on Facebook. No, no, but no, no. but no, that's not necessary. Did I ever tell you about fucking uh, fucking chicken one time? A chicken? Yes. Can we do another episode on that? Let's not get into that now. <laughs> that sounds like it's a special episode. The chicken should have been. We're going to a new level. There's now. actually a rooster. And All right. Look into the camera and tell the people about the rooster you fucked. <laughs> is that what you want to do right now? Is that what we're going? It, it, it came. It, it, it was six in the morning. It was six in the morning. And I'm I'm hungry. And you fucked the rooster? Yes. It, it never it never crowed again. <laughs> so you <laughs> fucked the rooster to death? Hypothetically. No, no you didn't die. Hypothetically. Didn't even have <laughs> is it hypothetically? <laughs> Holy shit! All right, but either way, would you say that your actions on Facebook are? getting you in some trouble with certain people but you don't care it doesn't matter to you i mean what do you want me to do i don't know i'm not I, me, I told me you when i first man. met you i said be you do what you want be happy it's your yeah, choice and that's all it's your choice it's your life yeah no it's what you're doing but they're gonna, gonna put you on blast for that every, that's awesome. i don't give a shit well, about good that. For you. god bless you then more power to you i'll snow said it best marty's marty uh, he is who he you is. Do it or not? You know, and don't <laughs> underestimate it, Marty, because as far as talent goes, not many people have as much talent as Marty Janetti has had. <laughs> that was still uh, that had. was so nice of him. Yeah, yeah. yeah they, he did such a great job for you. They all Pulling did a great job for you. Leave fan. my balls alone, man. Now, a real quick apparent murder confession. <laughs> <laughs> they went hard on this, uh, Mr. Janetti. So. I got it from all over the world. And they said it was a storyline. Every fucking, I had to. They were trying to. Okay, so me. real quick, this guy, this piece of crap, he's uh, attacking Ooh. a kid. Basically, he attacked oh, the child. Uh, Bob, uh, this guy, it? hypothetically, uh, <laughs> attacked the child. Okay. But, but I wouldn't have a child. You were a child, fourteen years old, and a child. It's a child. Yeah, but I was already kicking ass. Maybe, but it doesn't matter. In my eyes, the eyes of the law, yeah. a man. Touching a child in an illicit way. I agree, I agree with you. Uh, you are 100%. What way? Illicit. Illicit, yeah. Sexual that? way. Sexual way. Maybe oh, that word is. That's illicit? It is illicit. Okay. That's how cops, anyway, keep that's how cops would talk. Keep going. It's, it's, it's a legal activity. It's a legal cool. behavior. Then you're being illicit right You now. have automatic. Your balls are hanging out. I'm going to show the camera. My balls. Look no, 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 my no, balls, no, no. They're not hanging out. My balls are good. <laughs> I tucked them in. They were okay, hanging so out before. What were you going to say? So the illicit, You were justified. That's no. you were. It, I it, thought so. You were Everybody justified. called me a murderer, and the man was trying to rape me. No, no, no. How no, the no. fuck am I a murderer? If that was me, and I'm, I'm uh, he's attacking me and trying to rape me, I'm gonna do the same thing. He I'm was, gonna fight was, for my life. He was on top of me. He's 200 pounds. I'm probably yeah. 145, and I yeah. think I know I was because I wrestled. You were in high school. Yeah, he messed with but the wrong one. What, 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 no, what Genetti happened? won. But he went. He went to unbutton my clothes and tried to take me down my pants down. And the only thing, it was a, a brick right there. Uh, it one of them concrete ones. Yeah, yeah. You know, it's got like the little cobblestones. That's all that was. That's all I could get. And I hit him with that. Hypothetically. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Hypothetically. But you know what? In my opinion, I don't care. I I support you. I support what you did. And you, did, what, what, you did what does, you had to do to stay alive. Why does nobody else? Uh, I, I get caught. You just saw it. They call me. People murderer. have nothing better to do than to just hate, and they don't have pure intention sometimes. And they look at a situation and they try to like just have negativity on it. Yeah, that's probably a lot of people don't want to see people uh, do well. A lot of people want to see the world burn, Marty. Yeah, but I mean, do you want to see the world burn or do you want to see the world prosper? There's according to his girls involved. Okay, I get that. Is that? I think that's the every every answer. <laughs> Sex, girls. Anyway, good for you for doing what you had to do with this guy. I support it. There's the rock. I mean, we're going to try to go later. Uh, and then there it is. You guys are. Uh, they said they went in the river. Hold up, Miss. Said it went in the river. Miss. Yeah. Hold up. Okay. What were you doing? Same thing. Same thing. Maybe worse. You know what? <laughs> How? I mean, I did. I also was. How? I would have disembodied him and then put his pieces See, in all I over the country. That. That's what, I didn't do that. Feces. Pieces. 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 Oh. oh, he would have shit himself. There probably would have been some feces. I'm pretty sure when you start disembodying somebody, the yeah, feces comes up flowing. What do they call them? The drizzling of shits? <laughs> yeah. That's the business, right? The business term? By the way, Bully Ray, if you're out there, I want my WrestleMania tickets. Hey, I, mean, I just touched your balls. Like, I stop touching touch my balls. balls. 
Are you um, going to touch Rob Van Dam's balls at Waffle Mania? No, I can't wait to see him. You're going to have waffles and weed? You're going to just yes. get high? Yes. Because he doesn't smoke. This guy let doesn't me smoke. Ask you, so let me ask you. Yeah. What would you have done after you hit him in the head with the brick? And mm -hmm. you... I would have hit him again, probably in the gun. No, again. I'm, 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 but... Would have turned him into mush. Pudding. Okay, well, but would you have called the police or you drag them to the No! Police? police? I don't know what you're talking about, police. You're hypothetically, talking about... oh yeah, sure, yeah. Hypothetically, I would have called the police. To make sure that everything's done 100% legal. That's what everybody's like. Uh, when uh, you call the police. When have you ever fucking went through what I went through? No. no nobody the, was in your shoes. You nobody saw it. Nobody right. dealt with it the way you did. And you know what? You you did what you had to do hypothetically in the moment. Hypothetically. <laughs> and it was sure always we really hypothetical. All right, police of uh, Georgia, we don't need you to come investigating again. It's all hypothetical. Look at her big ass titties. She said she wanted to flash her, but the mic was on. And uh, Beefcake said, stay away from her. <laughs> that, was she, or that was her part. All right, you can look. I actually introduced her. You can. Well, then he's a lucky man. But because look at her titties. Holy he's having shit. a good time. Let me call it. Statement. You can't call it. Where, where, Statement where, from where, the Columbus where, Police Department. The your, Columbus where, Police Department confirmed. We'll call her your phone is off limits. Confirmed that <laughs> investigated these allegations and blah, blah, blah. Yeah, it's exactly. Go away, police. Al <laughs> Snow, shout out to you. We'll see you sh uh, soon on the show. Uh, Marty Janetti no longer needing the wheelchair. He's out of the wheelchair. He's been out of the wheelchair. Yes, I'm so glad. He's Who, running around here, you, flying where around. You, where are you reading that? Uh, that's me, man, just talking. Oh. Marty Janetti, though, let's not forget him and Shawn Michaels, legends in this business, doing iconic shit, and they changed the way this business is perceived, looked at, the way people train, the way people do everything they got to do. Killing okay. it, man. Yeah. Shawn Michaels would uh, be a minutes. lucky man to get I'm... one more minute to hang out with Marty Janetti. Hey, hey, uh, savage uh, here. Shit. I <laughs> love y'all. Marty's out of here. Uh, we're going to be ending the show Only now. because they got a PP. He's got a PP, guys. But Savage has been here. I've loved this. This was a great experience. We're going to be bringing you more episodes. The next few episodes, we're going to do one or two more from here. And then uh, we're going to start doing them. Marty will be here in his studio. And then I will be at home in my studio. And we're going to do the show like that. We're going to try to do it every Thursday. Okay? So sit back. Be ready. We're going to have a lot of content because me and Marty – are hitting the road and we're going to be going all over the place uh swaggy was not here today i'm pretty upset that i didn't get to meet swaggy here's some pictures of swaggy and marty that's his beautiful cat and his cat right now is probably out there cat, that's, my son. that's his son that's his son that's not a cat that is his son and the cat is like spider-man i mean he can even climb walls and shit look at that cat i've never seen anything like that so here's a list of all the upcoming events that Marty Janetti has. Obviously, you just saw episode one of The Party with Marty. This featured the uh, barbershop scene and everything from Dark Side of the Ring. And then episode two, we're going to try to really hone in on what happened at the barbershop. And we're going to get into a lot more. Obviously, when we're doing a party with Marty, it's uh, it's never going to stay on topic because Marty Janetti is unpredictable. Hey, where's, where's, where's my phone? I got your phone. We're going to get it popping right now. I need to call Winnie. It's right here, buddy, right on the table. Party with Marty is coming to Chicago live from the Hyatt Regency at StarCast 6. They still have rooms how you, available. How you know that? You already got a room? We have everything we need for you, Marty Janetti. Your airfare, air tickets, he will be in Chicago. And guess what? Marty Janetti is also going to be, you have to turn it on. Marty Janetti is also going to be in Hamburg, Pennsylvania, Saturday, September 16, 2023, at Legends Fan Fest. Hey, 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 bro. Yes, sir. Tell him I'm, I'm not going to make love to you. No problem. Marty's not going to make love to me, but he is probably going to make love to Rob Van Dam at Waffle Mania Live from Hamburg, Pennsylvania. In the morning, waffles, sausages, and dirty comments and jokes from Marty Janetti. You can't miss it. Chicago, StarCast 6. Watch out. Marty's coming to town, taking over AEW, and again at 90s Con in Rockaway, New York.